Multiple myeloma is a disease of a specific cell within your immune system. It's a cell that lives within the bone marrow, which is the space inside your bones where your red cells, your white cells, and your platelets are all made, the blood cells, uh, which help you fight infection, carry oxygen, and also help your blood clot. Um, and what happens in this is one of these cells called a plasma cell, whose job is to make antibodies, which are part of your immune system, uh, starts growing out of control. If you were to ask me what your overall survival goals would have been 15 years ago, we would say two to three years. Uh, but because of excellent work that's been done at places like Moffitt and other centers of excellence for multiple myeloma, including Mayo, Scottsdale and Mayo, and, and, uh, and Minnesota, and places like that across the country, we've made great strides in our ability to take care of this disease and take care of our patients. And myeloma is one of those diseases where I think, due to the complexity and the rarity, it's really critical that our patients have access to us um, and allow us to help guide their care. Even beyond just Tom Brokaw and other, there are other fig, famous figures or influential figures who've had this disease. Geraldine Ferraro had multiple myeloma and others. But it's really critical for all of our patients to understand and meet with other patients with myeloma, whether it be someone of his stature or otherwise. So I think it's critical that our patients know that there are other people with this disease and that they can empathize with and also um, un have an understanding of this kind of disease. And because again, it is rare, it is a complex disorder, and there are lots of different stories that our patients have.